come out and perform for you and talk to you. But the most important thing is that they're out here contributing to their community. First of all, my name is Maria Davila and I am the mayor of the city of Salke. So welcome to the city of Salke, to all of you, to all our guests, to our judges, to this young lady sitting over here, the beauty section here. And I just want to take this time to welcome you. So in order for, the, for them to feel that you guys are really cheering for them, because I was back there, and you know what? It didn't sound too exciting. So on the count of three, let's cheer as much as you can. You know what, we'll take some holds later on. So in the count of three, one, two, three. <laughs> You know, for us here in the city of Salki, we'd like to encourage young ladies, you know, to give back to their community. And I think it's important, you know, for, for us as, uh, as council members here in the city to, you know, to have, let, uh, to have girls mentor other girls, just like the, the uh, previous Miss Salki. You know, they have done so much in the community this past year that if they do, you know, put their heart into it. But again, they're mentors to young ladies like the uh, Miss Acelitas over here, this young, beautiful girls that they were just, uh, they were just uh, uh, selected a couple, a week ago. So last Saturday, we had the Miss Acelita contest and they were selected the Miss Acelita. So with that, and I'm gonna ask all of you to please stand because we are going to be, um, we're going to be doing the, uh, na the national anthem and we have this young man, his name is Ethan Gomez, if you all can please stand for the national anthem. Ethan?
but I'm very glad I'm here. It's very, uh, I'm very honored to be here. Uh, all these girls are so inspirational, and I think right now is the best time to celebrate young women in the world. So give it up for Miss Southgate. Uh, yes, I am a, uh, just a little bit about myself. I'm a comedian and I'm a writer. Uh, I wrote a show called Tanya Harding the Musical. That's before I Tanya came out, so I did it first. You let Margot Robbie know that I deserve that Oscar, not her. Um, uh, a little uh, about the show, we're, uh, we're streaming live on Facebook, so if anyone out there couldn't get to the auditorium today, just, just kidding, nope, I lie as well, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you can add me on Facebook, that would be great, that would be wonderful. Uh, we also have a Snapchat filter, so if you guys want to take any pictures, just make sure to hashtag at MidSouthGate and look for that Snapchat filter. Also, if you want to take a picture of me, I charge $5 per picture, all right, to so just Venmo me. All right, uh, a little about, uh, so uh, that's enough of me. You're not here to see me, right? I had so much more prepared, but I'm late, I'm very sorry. Let's get the girls out here. Are you ready? All right, that's not good enough for me. I really want to know, are you guys ready? All right, that's good enough for this soup, but uh, no, we want to uh, give it up for the girls. Come on. All right, all right. I think they're, you guys are pumped up. So uh, are the ladies ready? We're all ready, so I cannot wait. This is gonna be amazing. Please give it up. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise and please welcome your 2018 Miss Southgate Contestant! Se levanta 
for the contestants. Wasn't that a great opening number? Oh my goodness, that was so good. We were, they rehearsed that all night last night. I tried to get myself involved, but I was kicked off stage too many times. I kept falling. But give it up, all right, isn't that great? I'm so excited for this. I love all of the contestants, they're so great. Um, that was choreographed by Lindsay Cox, give it up for her. That's wonderful. All right, if you already haven't done so, make sure you go and like your contestants' headshot on our social media pages. I believe we're on Instagram at Miss Southgate. Uh, the contestant with the most likes will get the award for Miss Social Media. Isn't that great? Uh, the voting will conclude at the end of the intermission. It will be announced just before our crowning along with our other awards. So make sure you go out there and you like the contestants' headshots. Mine isn't up there, but I just assume you guys would like it anyway. Thank you. All right, a little bit about the pageant. The Miss Southgate pageant has been a long tradition in the city of Southgate, dating back to the 1960s. It gives young girls between the ages of 16 and 23 the opportunity to represent their city, volunteer, and work alongside many city officials. Tonight, we will be crowning a new Miss Southgate along with her court. Along with Miss Southgate, the court will consist of the first runner-up, who for whatever reason the newly crowned Miss Southgate is unable to fulfill her, fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will replace her. Then we will crown three princesses of equal title. The court will have a busy year ahead of them, taking part in grand openings, carnival events, charitable events, youth fashion shows, Santa Cop, and everyone's favorite, the annual Southgate Children's Christmas Parade. Tonight's winners will each be given scholarships at the end of their reigns, once they fulfill their duties for the year. Tonight, the girls will be judged on three of four categories. They have had their portion of the competition on Wednesday, where they each had personal interviews with our judges panel. What they will be judged on tonight is influential woman, evening gown, and on-stage questions. Now, are you guys ready for a pageant? All right, and if you haven't done so, we'll have an intermission. You guys can sign up uh, to follow me on Instagram and also like their photos on Instagram. Okay, I want to now introduce our city officials uh, one by one. We have the Director of Parks and Recreations, Paul Adams. Give it up for Paul. We have uh, our Vice Mayor, Ellen Parnall. Oh, there she is. Hello. Wonderful. Hello. Uh, we have uh, Linwood Recreation Superintendent Rosie Carrillo. <laughs> Wonderful. Hello. How are you doing? Great. And then we have uh, Madam Mayor Mana Davia. Oh, wonderful. I love that necklace. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And we have one more, Park Deputy Director, Steve Costley. Yes. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Before we begin parts of tonight's competition, let's, see, let's meet some of our very special guests from the city. Vice Mayor Belen Bernal. Oh yes, yes, yes. There she is. Good evening, Southgate. How's everyone doing? I don't want you to have sore throats by the end of tonight but you should get ready because that's what's going to happen tonight. We need to um, really support our young ladies here in our community of Southgate. Each of you are here to represent uh, the values, the belief systems that you've taught each of your daughters, your friends. Thank you so much for being here. This is my daughter, Elisa. Say hi, Elisa. And as the mayor said, 
Here in Southgate, this has been an instrumental event. Uh, we've uh, adopted it very recently under her leadership to have it become a city program. So it'll be part of the Azalea Festival through the city and through the Department of Parks and Rec. So Lindsay, thank you for your leadership and thank you for all the hard work that you've done tonight. As a woman myself, as someone who grew up in this community, my parents moved to Southgate at age five. I went to local Southgate schools, Southgate Rams class of 1999. You know, having such a beautiful event like this for our youth, and especially our women, is very empowering. We have women who choose to, you know, represent with their beauty, represent with their art, represent with their talents. And tonight, I really believe we have a combination of all of that. We have beautiful ladies who are not here only to talk about how beautiful they are in terms of what they represent, but I really am really happy with the program here. We talk about what they believe, their value system, their principles, and I think that would dif well, that's what differentiates us here in Southgate. We care to empower the young ladies, not only for, um, again, what they're gonna represent and how they're gonna look, but more important, to have them really tell us a little bit of other strong women in our community. So with that, thank you, Maria Davila. You have been a strong leader here for 15 years plus, and it's really women like her who we need to follow and have us be an example. I work full time, besides being a council member here in Southgate, and I'm also a mother. So it's challenging for all the women out there who balance it all out, I commend you and God bless you. For all the men who are those supporters of those women that are working hard and making it all happen, God bless you too. So tonight, let us enjoy tonight's program. And uh, am I scrambling like you a little bit tonight? <laughs> I was a little late, so maybe that's the reason. But everyone, thank you so much for being here. Ladies who are back here listening to this, Give us your best. Don't worry about anything else but giving us your true best. It's all inside. It's all in your heart. It's all in your heads. Focus on that and have fun tonight. All right, everyone, let's do this. All right, give it up for the Vice Mayor Belen Bernal. Now, she's a very influential woman in Southgate, and that leads us into our next portion of tonight's events, the Influential Woman Competition. Now, with this part of the pageant being such a success in the past, pageant director Lindsay Cox decided to make it an official part of the competition. She strongly believes it shows a different side of the pageant world and allows girls to have fun with it, as well as learning a little bit more about the strong women throughout our history. And who doesn't like to learn about strong women, am I right? Wonderful. Now she had the girls do research on the women that they chose. The girls will each take the stage, not as themselves, but as the woman they've selected. So they will dress, speak, and act like the woman they have selected. Here's the fun part. During intermission, we will open the voting for our People's Choice Award. You can vote for the girl whom you feel really embraced her influential woman. Please note, this has nothing to do with the judging, nor will it affect who wins the pageant. This is simply an award given to the girl with the most votes based on you, the audience. It's like American Idol, you guys have a voice, isn't that great? Yeah. Wonderful, so whoever you think did the best, or whoever you liked the best, definitely vote during intermission. Without further ado, let us start the influential woman portion of the competition! Great, now who are some of your guys' favorite influential women? Yes, Malala, yes, wonderful. Um, great, here we go. Our first contestant, she is a singer, she is a dancer, she is the recent Jennifer Lopez's famous Selena Quintanilla Perez!
for being here. I estoy muy excited to share this moment with you. Since I was young, I remember always being surrounded by music. My family would talk about it everywhere, even in the kitchen. My father's passion towards music was passed down to my siblings and I in every way. As my brother learned to, learned to play the guitar, I gravitated towards the mic and began singing melodies. Bidi, bidi, bam, bam. My father would enjoy seeing my brother and I always practice together and decided to create a band, Selena y Los Zinos, and that was the start of my career. We practiced all the time. Being six years old, this is what brought joy to me. We would practice at my father's restaurant and we would perform on weekends, weddings, and at parties. With all this local fame, I had a struggle with a lot of things, such as being bullied at school. I was being called these very nasty names, but that did not stop me from being the Salera Quintanina. I, it was very hard for me to continue and following my hobby, but I knew this would be all possible with the support of my family y la bendición de Dios. I did not just have to learn these songs, but I had to learn them in Spanish, and I did this by learning them syllable by syllable by syllable. I became a superstar, but I did get an auditorio from a lot of industries. My personal favorite, the Tejano industry. I really wanted to break in this barrier of not having any women be in this industry, but this was my passion and I knew it would be possible. Now, with all this fame and fortune, I did have a price to pay. This price, sadly, was my life. With all this negative energy, I am still an icon for all these little girls and they can finally see someone they can relate to out on stage, a Latina superstar. Now I am idolized by all these magazines, all these makeup brands, and I am continuing to follow my success. My name is Brenda Argueta and I am Serena Quintanilla. Contestant, contestant number two, a very, very influential woman in this world. Contestant number two, Minerva Mirabal. Getting 
my children's laugh, how my family work, their smile, their voice. But luckily, we were known. People knew who we were. They knew who the butterflies were. And they helped us get contact from the outside. When me and my sister Maria Teresa were released, but not our husbands, we continued our mission. We didn't need our husbands to continue our mission. We continued it because we were strong enough to tell people what we wanted. We went to go visit our husbands one day, and Trujillo's people followed us. They put us on a car, and it took us to a lonely desert. And they tortured us and assassinated us. And they got away with it real well. They put us back in our car, and they threw us over a hill. And they made it seem like it was an accident. That didn't seem like justice to me. Just because he was the dictator, he was able to get away with it. But later on, as the years went by, he finally admitted that he assassinated us. And justice was made. I am Alondra, and I am Minerva. Give it up one more 
more time for Tina Fey. Great, our next contestant, contestant number four, a very, very influential woman in the world. Contestant number four, let's bring out Malala. Now, I was never the type of girl to get involved in politics, but only loca me iba a quedar callada. 
<laughs> he started implementing his ideas, all of which I was against. I spoke out everywhere I went and let everyone know what was going on. That was when he directly started to attack me. But he me quitó mi casa, the one thing I had worked so hard for. Luego me prohibió regresar a Cuba. To never see me, mommy, or any of my family ever again was one of the hardest things I ever go through. I was a voice to those who were afraid to speak up, to those who had escaped, and to those who had been exiled like me. The hardest thing about being exiled was the death of my mother. Le rogué a Cuba que me dejaron regresar, solo para enterrarla. Me lo negaron. I spent my life devoted to following my dreams, and along the way, I used my platform to speak out on injustice. Today, my legacy still lives on. No matter where you are in the world, when you mention Celia Cruz, people always think of Cuba and all the things that I did for my country. Because I represent a poor black woman that left Cuba y conquistó al mundo. My name is Ingrid Ibarro, y yo soy Celia Cruz. Azuka! Now, she was one of the most popular first women in U.S. history. She puts the O in Jackie O. Contestant number six, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis.
right, our next contestant, contestant number seven. She is one of the most famous artists in Mexico with one of the most famous unibrows, Frida Kahlo! Children, 
William and Harry, and of course, the people who looked up to me, who wanted a fairy princess that with a touch can turn anything into gold, not knowing that that individual internally crucifies himself every day. It took me six years to feel comfortable in the skin I wore, to value myself as a person. Even after a risky divorce, I knew what my job was. It was to go out and meet the people and love them. I attended to all sorts of organizations and events. Anywhere I see suffering, that's where I wanted to go. I like to be queen of people's hearts, but I don't see myself being queen of this country. I also knew I suffered from something besides the loneliness, a mental disorder. But I knew I had to get through it. And any young lady listening to this right now, if you can get through it every day, knowing it will be hard, and if you can keep your chin up and your composure, and if you can love with a broken heart, then you don't need a crown on your head to be a princess. I'm Lillian Buckley, and I'm Princess Diana. <laughs>
she's helped me out for a lot, especially this pageant. Um, I mentioned to her that this year was the hardest for me, you know? Um, and she understood that and she told me, you know, you go on that stage and you give 110%, and she tells us this all the time, you give 110% of all you have, 100% of the time, and that is something I'm going to go away with all the time. I, I, that's something I, that's my motto. And I love her and she knows how much she means to me. And, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna stop because I'm start crying. <laughs> This woman, she's, she's something else. <laughs> she's strong, she's brave. She's all those words that define an influential woman. She's my pageant mama. <laughs> this woman is a very strong woman. She has taught me to be very confident in myself. Because I was very shy. <laughs> this woman, although I've not known her that long, I can already tell that the way she carries herself, she does it with confidence and strength. And she gives her love and pours it out to all of us. And she is the exact definition of what an influential woman should be. and their favorite influential woman. Let's say it together. Lindsay Cox! I thought I was crying back So give it up for your contestants, they're beautiful and influential. And give it up for their influential woman of 2018, Lindsay Cobb! Alright, before we take a very, a very quick intermission, I have to announce our city guest honor course. Alright, now here we have uh, our wonderful, wonderful city courts, uh, Miss Greater Lakewood, Crystal Mesa!
the evening gown competition! All right, our second portion of tonight's competition will be based on the contestants' poise and elegance, the way that they present themselves. Each girl will take the stage one by one, and I will let you know more about them. How does that sound? Oh, Desiree, yes. I cheer for your favorite. Cheer for your favorite contestant. Let's hear it. Who's your favorite contestant? Competition. Are you guys ready to see some pageant gowns? Great, let's get the show on the road. in the future. Give it up one more time for Brenda Argenta! So wonderful. Contestant number two coming to the stage, Alondra Garcia! Creative, leader, and motivational are three words that describe Alondra. At 18 years old, Alondra is a senior at Aspire Holland University Prep. Her, one of her favorite hobbies includes dancing. She loves dancing. It's something she enjoys doing throughout the day. Another hobby of hers is doing hair. It's something she loves to do on the side. Something interesting about her is that she's always an extra. She can make something so small into something so big. She goes all out because she likes being unique and standing out from the crowd. In school, during Spirit Week, we'll always find her out of the crowd because she's always like showing school spirit and motivating others to not be shy. There's nothing to be afraid of because we all like having a good laugh. When it comes to working for a school project or event planning, she's always liking to give it more than she can because if she doesn't, it just shows that she didn't try. Give it up one more time. Alondra Garcia. Give it up, wonderful people. Contestant number two. All right, our next contestant is contestant number three, Madeline Gonzalez. Positive, funny, and caring are three words that describe Madeline. 18-year-old Madeline is currently a senior at Southgate High School. Working out, basketball, and being adventurous are all interests and hobbies of hers. She loves being outdoors and being active. Love and positive energy bring her a sense of gratification. Speaking and entertaining an audience is where her heart is. 
bringing smiles to others, whether it's telling a joke or stating famous quotes. It's all about bringing warmth and peace to someone's mind with just a smile that brings her joy because no matter on the bad or good days, there should always be that thought of I am in a healthy state and I am blessed to be where I am. Because no matter what, you will always have something that maybe others don't get the chance to, allowing us to live with a healthy and thankful life. Give it up for contestant number three, Madeline Gonzalez. Wonderful, so elegant, these ladies. Contestant number four, we have Desiree Soto. Yes, wonderful. Desiree Soto, contestant number four. Optimistic, kind, and extraordinary are three words that describe Desiree. Desiree graduated from Southgate High School, class of 2017, where she was a cheerleader. She currently attends Cerritos College. Her major is Administration of Justice. She's currently taking intro to Administration of Justice, Criminal Evidence, and Juvenile Procedure classes. She chose this major with no hesitation, because ever since she was a little girl, she knew this was the path that she wanted to take. Seeing our local police officers and all that they do behind the scenes to help throughout the city only inspired her even more to pursue this dream. She enjoys reading during her spare time and visiting different kinds of museums. Desiree enjoys being involved with the community. She's taken part in various community events, such as the Christmas Toy Drive, Santa Cop, and Earth Day Cleanups. After com completing college, she hopes to become a homicide detective while giving back to the community that continues to make her who she is. Give it up for contestant number four, Desiree Soto. Great, great, great. Contestant number five, coming to the stage, we have Ingrid Ivara. Contestant number five, Ingrid Ibarra. Intense, passionate, and ambitious are three words to describe Ingrid, who is a graduate of Southgate High School class of 2015. At 21 years old, some of her favorite things to do are cooking, photography, traveling, volunteering, and community involvement. She has competed in the Miss Southgate pageant twice before, and every time she's come back, she feels like she's matured and gotten more and more comfortable with who she is as a person. Growing up, she was bullied and body shamed. However, she has found a safe haven with youth involvement. It was through there that she realized there were much bigger problems in the world than just being teased. Give it up for your contestant number five, Ingrid Ibarra! <laughs> contestant number six, coming to the stage, we have Jacqueline Rangel! <laughs> Give it up for contestant number six, Jacqueline Rangel! Strong, kind, and caring are three words that describe Jacqueline. At age 16, Jackie is the first contestant to compete in the Miss Southgate pageant representing Legacy High School, where she will graduate from in 2019. She likes to spend weekends hanging out with family and friends, either watching sports or just being around each other, which she absolutely loves. Recently, she's grown an interest in literature, where she believes it gives another perspective on how to view things. She loves donating her free time by helping others. For example, she volunteers at a nonprofit organization called The Promise of Hope. And once a week, she tutors children at Tweedy and Elementary. She is very involved in her school. She joined the Legacy High School cheer team for two years. She participated in the 2019 class cabinet where they raised money for their class activities and she is part of the BAPA Legacy's leadership class. She stays committed to her goals or any interest and she knows how to manage her time very well. Give it up for contestant number six, Jacqueline Rangel. Moving on, contestant number seven coming to the stage, 
Giselle Orvin. <laughs> Adventurous, determined, and kind-hearted are the words that describe Giselle. At 17 years old, Giselle is currently a junior at Warren High School. Giselle enjoys trying new experiences that she has never done before, such as exploring, tasting new foods, and learning about other cultures. Giselle is of Mexican-Irish descent. She's a member of her high school's choir group, Bad Canto. Giselle is the middle of eight siblings, three sisters, and five brothers. She's also flexible and double-jointed on her thumb. That's a great, interesting thing about her. Give it up for contestant number seven, Giselle Morby! Okay, are you guys ready for our last contestant? Contestant number eight, Lillian Buckley! Confident, unique, and mature are three words that describe Lillian. The youngest of our contestants, she just turned 16 this past Monday. She's currently a sophomore at Southgate High School. However, Lillian will be completing her last two years at the California School of Arts, to which she was just accepted to. She enjoys composing music on the piano, writing her own books, drawing and practicing the arts of a language. Currently, she's learning five. She's interested in pretty much everything, whether it be math or cultures. She just loves to learn and expand her horizons on knowledge. Give it up for contestant number eight, Lillian Buckley! All right, let's bring the ladies back down for one final look at their elegant evening gowns. Let's hear it for our contestants. them in those gowns one more time. Shout out to your favorite contestant. They can't hear you. They want to know who your favorite contestant is. So wonderful. So beautiful. All right, ladies. Good job. Wonderful. Now get ready for our next portion of this, the questions. Wave to your, wave to your audience. There we go. Wonderful. All right, go get ready to be asked some wonderful questions. Here we go. That's for you. Now, where are they great? There we go. I love that horn. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm just uh, imagining that's for me. Thank you very much. Now, wasn't that great? I love those gowns. I wish I had each one of those in a suit. One of these days, one of these days. All right, I'm here now to introduce our sponsors for the Miss Southgate pageant. I'll go one by one. These are the introduction. These are the sponsors who are sponsoring this wonderful pageant. First, we have Nova Storage. Next, we have Southgate. Yes, give each one of these people a round of applause, Nova Storage. Next, we have the Southgate Police Management Association. Great, our next sponsor, Forest Farms! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Our next sponsor, A Promise of Hope! There we go, give it up. Another wonderful sponsor, Morphine Towing! Next on the list of sponsors, Eye Center of Southgate, Kenneth Cohn Medical! Next sponsor, La Maravia. Yes, wonderful. And our last sponsor that I'm going to introduce, Bucky Video Wedding. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Without you guys, we could not have any competition. So give it up one more time for our sponsors. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to everyone's favorite part of the competition. On stage, question! All right, I'm gonna introduce Miss, Miss Southgate 2017 to the stage. Let's welcome her, Miss Southgate 2017, Jessica Iniguez! All right, Jessica Iniguez, she will be helping us by holding the bowl that contains all of the questions. Now each contestant will come on stage one by one and select their question from the bowl. They will read it once to themselves, then they will tell me the number to the question which they've chosen. Then I will repeat their question aloud for you all to hear. Once they've answered their selected question, they will remain on stage until all eight contestants have had their turn. Now are you guys ready for everyone's favorite portion, the on-stage questions? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's get this thing going. Let's bring out our first contestant, Brenda Argenda. Question number three for Brenda Argueta. If you became president of the United States, what would be the first thing you do in office? As a senior in high school, I would definitely want to lower down college tuition. Doing so, I would do this by making grants, new programs that would help anybody so everybody has a right to get an education as equal. Thank Great you. answer. Thank you so much, Brenda. That was wonderful. I would love for you to be our president. All right, bring up contestant number two, Alondra Garcia. Question number six. What does the word feminism mean to you? Feminism, to me, means a strong, confident woman who is willing to do anything for her woman, for her people, for her community, to represent her gender, and to demonstrate to those that us women can do anything if we work hard for it. And that's something that we, I know that all of us women do already. We're showing everybody that we are strong enough to do what men do. And that we should be seen as people who can do high class and high positions in anything. Thank you. Great job, wonderful, wonderful answer. Contestant number two, Alondra. All right, let's bring out contestant number three, Madeline Gonzalez. I've selected question number 10. Question number 10. From Miss Southgate 2017, Jessica Inigas. In 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 yes. yes, question number 10. If there is one thing you could improve upon in your community, what would it be and why? I believe that it is important to bring all the teens out to the community. So one thing I would like to change is to go around our cities, middle schools, our high schools, to show the students what we do and to get them out of their houses, out of the phones, out of the video games, out of getting out of trouble because being a part of the city or being a part of any events will open doors for not only themselves but for their future. And the way by doing this is, like I said, 
to go to the schools, probably use some presentations, and share our events and our experiences just to make it sound, just so it can sound as fun as it really is. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful answer. Contestant number three, Madeline Gonzalez. Okay, time for contestant number four. Let's bring her on out. Contestant number four, Desiree Soto. Empowered to myself. 
Wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. Contestant number seven, Giselle Morbin. All right, our last contestant coming to the stage, contestant number eight, Lillian Buckley. Question number eight. From Miss Southgate 2009, Jessica Gonzalez, question number eight. What is your edge over the other contestants? What makes you different slash unique? The things that make me different from the other contestants would have to be the way of my background, really. Nobody else that I know of so far has had the same background as I have. And I had to grow up rather quickly, whereas uh, the, the other girls got to grow up the way they should have. They all had a childhood and memories, and I didn't really have much of that. Wonderful, wonderful. Great job. Give it up for contestant number eight, Lillian Buckley. All right, now let's hear a big round of applause for all eight of our contestants. Let's blow them.
bring up some very special guests to honor introduce them. We're gonna bring up past Miss Southgate. We're gonna bring back Miss Southgate 2010, Jessica Gonzalez. Great, great, great. And Miss Southgate 2005, Yoshiegi Casares Rizzo. How did I do with that pronunciation? Good. Yoshiegi. All right, now what pageant would be a pageant without wonderful judges? I am now here to introduce to you your wonderful judges of Miss Southgate 2018. Give it up for your judges! All right, our first judge, Marcus Bigel. Is that right? Is that a good pronunciation? Marcus was formerly the co-owner of an LA-based fashion brand that participated in Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week and was also featured in Vogue, the number one fashion magazine in the world. He's also built a name for himself as a photographer, shooting countless fashion suits as well as live music events. Marcus is currently a management consultant for the construction industry, a city commissioner in the city of Carson, a college professor at CSU Dominguez, and CSU Long Beach, teaching management and marketing classes. Give it up for your judge, Marcus Miguel. Our next judge, Rocio Sanchez. Rocio was born in East Los Angeles. She was raised in Southgate, along with her older brother and sister, where she discovered the love for the arts at the tender age of four years old. She participated in numerous talent shows where she would sing, dance, and act. By the time she was a freshman at Southgate High, she was considered a triple threat and was cast for the leading roles in various plays. After she graduated from Southgate High, Rocio continued her education at Long Beach City to pursue a teaching career. As well as being a full-time student, she was the lead singer of a Latin band. After a complete, after a couple of years with the band, she pursued her solo career and launched her album, Un Verdadero Amor, which her single, No Sabes, was voted number one in Arizona. Yes, give it up. After a couple of years of touring and promoting her album, Rocio decided to make a drastic career change. She enlisted in the Marine Corps in August 2009. She served a total of six years and was awarded several medals for combat operations in her year-long deployment in Afghanistan. You go, girl. During her time in the Marine Corps, she got married and now has two children. Now that she is no longer in the service, Rocio decided to go back to school. She is now a junior at Cal State San Marcos, where she will be obtaining her bachelorette degree in liberal studies, as well as her multi-subject teaching credential. Rocio is honored to be part of the Miss Southgate pageant this year, and is looking forward to meeting all the amazing women who will be representing the city of Southgate. Give it up one more time for Rocio Sanchez! Our next wonderful judge, Nettie Lynn Ekenasi. Is that how you say it, please? And Lynn Ekenasi, yes, give it up. A native Angelino born to a Hispanic family. Nedelin is a graduate of George Washington Preparatory High School and graduate of California State University, Long Beach. She recently returned to school to further her education with a focus in anthropology. Nedelin has been involved in many community engagements. She has participated in delivering vegan food to the homeless on Skid Row through individual efforts and additionally collaborates with the LA Burrito Coalition organization. Her continued efforts and passion for animal rights have led her to be involved with the rescue of stray and abandoned animals in the streets of Los Angeles to provide spay and neutering services. Yet, Marilyn is no stranger to the pageant world where in 2007, she competed in the Miss Teen Los Angeles pageant. 
In 2015, she wrote an article for the Santa Monica Corsair newspaper. Her digitally and physically her digitally and physically published article focused on immigration and environmental issues we face today. Additionally, in 2015 until present, she dedicates and invests her time working for Confidence Magazine, where she is a plus-size Latina model and has been published on four different occasions as a cover girl. Give it up! One more time for Marilyn Giannassi. You go, girl! Let's give it up for our final judge, Mr. Joe Cabello! Joe Capello is a writer and comedian originally from Northern California and now lives in Los Angeles with his two cats, Dia and Vito. You can see his work on the show, 5 at 305, premiering April 5th on Primo TV, which he wrote 20 plus episodes of. And he has also written for various YouTube channels, including It's Alex Clark and Element Animation. Joe's biggest Joe's biggest credit is being one of my friends. Give it up for Joe Cabello! Let's hear it one more time for our wonderful judges. Give them a big round of applause and maybe one of those bullhorns. Or not, that's fine. If you have the horn, I would love to hear it one more time. That's why we need more. All right. We have a little bit of time, so you know what? I'm gonna read my bio. How does that sound? <laughs> great, great, great. Great, great, great. Yeah, please, if you could blow that horn a little bit more, that would be great. Jesse Esparza, your master of ceremonies. Oh, I'm going out of the light. Okay, bad choice, bad choice. <laughs> Jesse Esparza is an actor and writer from Sacramento, California. Oh, okay, well, I think, okay, it did, oh, there we go. He wrote, directed, and produced Tanya Harding the Musical, which was featured on E! News Online in an episode of Live from E! and even had a write-up in the New York Times! He wrote, directed, and starred in the 2016 show Cartella Well. He was also a writer for the CBS Diversity Showcase and the National Hispanic Media Coalition! Jesse has appeared in television in such shows as Big Time Rush. Victorious and crazy ex-girlfriend. He was also a judge at the Miss Compton pageant. Give it up. I'm also newly single, ladies. Just kidding. I'm in a very deeply loving, committed relationship with myself. Can I give a round of applause for a great relationship? It's been a great 23 years. Yes, 23 years of loving myself. So thank you. Thank you. I want to take myself out for a nice anniversary date after this. All right, let's check back in. Let's check back in. All right. Now that that is settled, we will now say goodbye to our 2017 court and bring them on for one last time. So let's bring back your court from 2017 for their farewell speeches. Give it up for last year's court. Give it up for Princess Destiny Soto. Give it up for your Princess Gabriella Silva. Give it up for your Princess Lynette Ruiz. Special shout out to our first runner-up, Cynthia Aguilar, who could not be here due to a family reason, but let's just give it up for her still. Give it up for first runner-up, Cynthia. And now, let us welcome to the stage, Miss Southgate 2017, Jessica Iniguez. Welcome her on stage as she takes her last walk as your Miss 
Miss Southgate 2017. Let's hear it for them. Come on. set my heart on since I was 16 years old, I have learned and grown so much throughout this entire experience. To my mom and dad, Ruth and Augustine Aeneas, thank you for being my biggest supporters. There are not enough words to express how grateful I am to have had you be there in every step of this amazing journey. I love you both so much. To my grandma, Ruth Morphine, I dedicate my reign to you. I'm happy to have made your dream of seeing me become Miss Southgate a reality. To my beautiful court, Cynthia, Gabby, Lynette, and Destiny, it has been a pleasure representing our city of Southgate with you. With your ambition, confidence, and dedication, I know that you will all be successful in your future. Thank you for making our reign so fun and memorable. To our pageant director, Lindsay Cox, the encouragement and empowerment that you have provided me with are truly a blessing. You have been there for me ever since I first entered this auditorium almost seven years ago. I am forever thankful to have you in my life. And lastly, to my sponsor, Southgate Police Officers Association and Detective Chris Perez. Thank you for supporting me throughout my reign. It has been a great pleasure to have represented you and thank you for all that you do for our community. It is a dream come true to have been able to represent Southgate and the community. For the last time, my name is Jessica Ruthenius, and I will always be your Miss Southgate 2017. All right, let's give it up. Let's give it up for your court of 2017. Let's let them hear it. Beautiful, and now each woman will be presented a beautiful, beautiful bouquet. Thank you so much. This has been the best year for me as far as being the pageant director, and I can't say thank you enough to our Madam Mayor, Maria Davila, to our Vice Mayor for your beautiful words. Thank you so much for being so supportive and being such influences to young women, older women, women of all ages. Thank you for all that you do for our city. 
I can't recognize women without recognizing my own mother who would drag me stand up to all these city events and I would siempre me enojaba porque no quería ir, I hated it and now I'm the one who pulls her to these events and she doesn't have a choice anymore so the tables have turned. And my sister-in-law, Blanca, my other sister, um, Anel, they've been influences to me as well. He said thank you so much. She was a judge last year. Thank you so much to everybody. And Rocio, again, thank you for your service and for being the woman that you are. Past Miss Southgate. So let's just give a round of applause to these young women, these young girls who are on here. It's not easy being on stage. And the pressure, I can tell you, is hard. So thank you so much to Jesse. And let's give it up for our boys basketball team from Southgate High School. They're over there taking a break. They did such a good job for everything. Thank you, boys. And I have two of them back here who are my assistants, Chris and Matthew. Thank you so much, boys. Thank you so much to everybody for making it a great year. If you're interested in 2019 pageant, please let us know. And let's go ahead and I, we're ready to go. We have our winners here. And who they are, we will find out in a couple minutes. Are you guys excited? <laughs> All right, the votes have been tallied. They've been counted and we're going to announce it very shortly. Before we do that, let's bring out the contestants one last time. Again, cheer for who you are here for.
right as congeniality goes to Jacqueline Renge! Oh my god, popular on Instagram and in real life! My goodness, wonderful job. Congratulations. Really, really wonderful. Alright, give it up one more time for your People's Choice Award and your Miss Congeniality and your Miss Social Media! Alright, now it's time to crown the court. Before we begin announcing tonight's winners, I just want to say to all eight of these beautiful young women that they have truly done an amazing job. Crowned or not, they're all winners for just taking the challenge because it is not easy coming up here. I make it look very easy, but it is not. I'm a professional. Congratulations on such a great job. Give it up for one more time for all these beautiful young women. They did such a good job. They look amazing. They were very influential. And I can't wait to see where their lives go. Now we will crown the three princesses first. So uh, helping me first to assist with the crowning is Destiny Soto! <laughs> and our first princess being crowned tonight is... Give me a drum roll! Give it up for Brenda Arrieta, contestant number one. Congratulations, Brenda. She's a princess and a winner of People's Choice. Now for the next princess, assisting me is Gabriella Silva. All right, Gabriella's gonna help me crown our second princess. Are you guys ready for me to announce our second princess? Give me another drum roll. Our second princess being crowned. Contestant number three, Madeline Give it up for Madeline Gonzalez. <laughs> Gotta make sure that crown is on there right. Perfect, beautiful, congratulations. All right, assisting me for the next and final princess, Lynette Ruiz. <laughs> All right. And our third and final princess being crowned tonight for the Miss Southgate 2018 pageant. Contestant number two. Give it up for contestant number two, Alondra Garcia!
All right, a big round of applause for all three of our princesses. Give it up for the princesses tonight. All right, we're almost there. We will now crown our first runner-up. Should our newly crowned Miss Southgate 2018 fail to fulfill her duties, our first runner-up will continue those duties and replace the new title of Miss Southgate. Now helping me in assisting, announcing the first runner-up, Lindsay Cox. Welcome Lindsay Cox to the stage. She is stepping in for Cynthia who could not be here tonight. All right, I know I, got, I made you guys do drum rolls, but this is where it really counts. Give me a big drum roll if you want to hear our first runner-up of 2018. Let's hear some cheering as well. Who do you want to win? Who do you want to win? Our first runner-up for Miss Southgate 2018 is contestant number Give it up for contestant number five, Ingrid Ibarra. She's amazing, did so well tonight. Give it up. One more time, contestant number five, your Miss Runner-Up 2018, Ingrid Ibarra. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Who will be our Miss Southgate 2018? One more time, shout out who you think should be the winner. <laughs> Assisting me with crowning the winner is your former Miss Southgate 2017, Jessica Iniguez. Let's bring her on out. For everyone's safety to please stay off the stage. No one will be allowed up here, but you can be as loud as you want and take as many pictures as you want. Are you guys ready for me to announce the Miss Southgate Queen of 2018? I can't hear you. Are you ready?
as they take their new walk, as their first walk is the new court. Give it up for your new court, 2018, as they take their walk. Let's see them. Congratulations. Give it up. Shout your favorites. Shout who you love the most. Your court of 2018. Three princesses, one runner-up, and Miss Southgate, 2018. Congratulations, ladies. You guys did amazing. Let's hear it one more time. All right. Give them one last final big round of applause. Your 2018 court of 2018. Thank you guys so much for joining us this year. It is blessing and an honor to host this wonderful event. Thank you so much to Lindsay for asking me to be involved. I loved every minute of it. And again, I am available to take pictures in the lobby. I do charge $5 per picture. Please send me any if you have them. Thank you so much. The contestants will be out soon to congratulate them. Have a great and safe night. Thank you so much, Southgate.